Right, you've marked your mount up, ready to cut the beveled window. I'm just going to show you underneath the rail. It's very important. We have here a mount stop. It's movable. You can place it into different positions to suit different sizes of work. And what this does is stop the mount from moving when you're cutting. Locate the rail back onto the base. We're going to slide the mount underneath the rail and up to the mount stop. So I'm going to just lift the rail very slightly so that the mount will slide underneath freely down to that stop underneath and then I'm going to line up the pencil line here with the edge of the rail so that I can see that it's parallel to the edge of the rail. Now we're ready to set the cutter up. And let me just show you what's going to be happening underneath my hand because once this is onto the rail my hand will be covering the, covering the bevel cutter so you won't really see what's going on. The way it works is that the heel and the palm of the hand are used to rotate the blade into work. The blade's coming out underneath here and we can adjust that blade depth using the depth control screw for different thicknesses of board. So we locate the bevel cutter onto the rail. The front here is the actual bearing and that drops into the channel here so we hook that on if you like to the rail itself. The V here is our reference to the pencil lines. So we're going to move the cutter along and line up the pencil with the center of the V. Bring the cutter stop here to locate against the cutter itself and to lock that position. So make sure that you've lined up that pencil line and the actual cutter stop is against the cutter to fix that position and lock it. And we do the same the other end. We bring the stop from the far end and we join the two together. We bring the stop and the cutter together. It's a little bit easier that way, more practical. We're going to line up the pencil line to the center of the, to the V, make sure the stop is against the cutter and lock it in position. And now that means that we cannot overcut when we're actually cutting this particular window. So we move back to the beginning and we're going to now cut the first line. There's no need for any pressure on the rail at all. We've already stopped the mount from moving with the mount stop and the rail is already attached to the base. So there's no need for this white knuckle business. All you do is you rest your hand on the rail to steady yourself, just for comfort. The cutter itself, you make sure that with your right hand, this is if you're using this right-handed, you pull the cutter back to the beginning, to the stop at the beginning, ensuring it stays there whilst you drop the blade in. So that is the action with your hand. There's no pressure on any of the joints here or in the joints of the fingers. You're spreading the load over the hand, which is much gentler, much easier. So having dropped the blade into the full depth, I'm now going to push the cutter away from me to the other end until you reach the far stop. Then you lift the blade out. At the moment, the blade is held by the cut that you've just done. So you lift the blade up until the blade is free. And then that is quite safe to put down. There's no blade out there at all. And we're going to repeat all sides in exactly the same way. That gives you an absolutely perfect corner because it's mechanically controlled all the way through the process.